Hello students, welcome to Vastek channel. This is Vasan Naik from Canada Engineering College. We will continue the module 3 session. In this module 3 session, we have already completed uh, <coughs> string operation and signed number operation. The third topic is uh, memory and memory interfacing. How you interface the memory to microprocessor? This is the third topic. So, in this uh, case, first we will see, we know, all of you know that uh, memory, memory are classified into primary memory and secondary memory. We know which is primary memory and which is secondary memory. Primary memory mainly ROM and uh, RAM. So, number of bits uh, in the semiconductor memory chip is can store the capacity that indicates the capacity of the uh, semiconductor memory. Now, here you can see the memory chip. Uh, here, number of address line indicates number of location available in the memory. For example, if the 8 bits are there, 8 lines are there, then 2 raised to power 8, uh, 256 uh, address lines are possible. Uh, and uh, this uh, output lines. Uh, indicates uh, data lines that data lines indicates the uh, <coughs> data line indicates the size of the data that memory particular memory location can hold whether it can hold 8 bit data or 16 bit data something like that so both uh, data lines and address lines uh, indicates total indicates the capacity of the memory so the memory capacity is uh, 2x into x into 2x into y that is the memory capacity for example uh, let us uh, let me explain you this one uh, with the example so here you see the given memory chip has 12 address line and 8, eight data pins so find the memory organization 12 address line means 2 to raised to power 12 that is 4096 locations and uh, 4096 locations means 4k and 8 bits 4k into 8 bits is a 32 kilobits capacity is the memory or 4 kilobyte memory capacity in terms of bits uh, it is 32 kilobits in terms of byte uh, normally we express memory in terms of a uh, byte uh, 4 kilobyte so find a 12k memory chip as 8 data lines find the organization so this uh, chip as uh, find it, uh, memory chip find a 12k so first you have to find out uh, 8 data lines uh, so what is the uh, i said uh, memory capacity is uh, always multiplication of uh, data lines in address lines so now you find out the address lines what is address lines uh, 64k 64k means uh, how many address lines are possible 16 address lines are there so 64k into 8 that is 500 kilobits otherwise we can say this is this is a 64 kilobyte memory chip 64 kilobyte memory chip so these are the two problems uh, you have to understand uh, from the memory point of view so next one is uh, see in uh, 8086 uh, we have 20 address lines uh, but here we have seen 16 address uh, this memory chip has got 16 address lines uh, and 8086 20 address lines how you interface this uh, 20 address lines with the 16 address lines for that we need uh, decoder uh, decoder corrects the mismatch by decoding the address pins that don't connect to the memory component uh, so please understand try to understand decoder corrects the mismatch by decoding the address pin that don't connect to the memory component uh, so in the exam they will ask a simple uh, nand decoder so see this is a simple nand decoder uh, we are using for 32 kilobit uh, chip 32 kilo uh, bit chip In 32 kilobit chip, uh, you can see 14 address lines are there. So, you have to remember 32 kilobit chip, 14 address lines are there. Sorry, 15 address lines are there. 2 raised to power 15. So, let me use the pen here once again. 2 raised to power 15 is equal to 32k. 32k. Now, our microprocessor has got 20 address lines. Now, 5 address lines are extra. That you have to connect to NAND gate. Uh, so, in that, uh, in that uh, year, here 16 address lines are there 15 address lines are here we have used here one more address line you connect it to NAND gate then rest of the address line you connect it to inverter because because output of the NAND gate should be zero so that it will enable the chip so when you'll get zero when you'll get zero here here this this becomes this a 16 17 18 19 all becomes zero then this becomes 1 uh, and A15, uh, A15 if you keep it 1 uh, and all these are 1, uh, then output becomes 0 and then this will be activated. 
so that is the idea so a 16 17 18 19 all becomes zero and this becomes a 15 will keep it one that time uh, the range of the memory so let me write here a 0 to a 19 so a0, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, A7. Here it is A7. Here it is A7. A8, A9, A10, A11, A12, A13, A14, A15. This is A15. So this is A15, right? Clear. So now till here it is variable. So A15 we made one. From year to year it is variable. 0, it can take value. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. It is a variable. So when you take all the values 0, what is the first combination? This is the first combination. So when you take all the value 1, what is the combination? What is the combination? The combination is this one. So this is the address range for this. This is the address range for this. So this is the address range. And you can see if you can use your calculator, and if you subtract uh, this from this one, you will get 32K. So in the exam, they will ask, design a simple NAND decoder. This is the answer. So next one is, uh, next one is uh, 64K now. Design 64K by using NAND decoder. So in the 64K, 16 address lines are there. You can see all 16 address lines are here. All 16 address lines are uh, here. So that is variable. See here A0 to A15. A15. Let me switch on fan. A15. This is variable. A0 to A15. This is variable. 0. It can take any value. 0, 0 to this one. Now this last four, this one. You may ask why this is 101. So if it is 1001, then here it is 0, here it becomes a, sorry, here it is all 1s, here it becomes 0, uh, 1, and here it becomes a 0, and this will enable the chip. That is a condition. Or other way also you can design. What is the other way? Other way is, a, without using inverter, Without using inverter, if you put uh, here, one, 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 then also it gives a zero. Then that will give different range. That will give the range uh, something like uh, F zero, 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 zero and F this range try to understand this is we got one more range of 64k so in the exam if they ask design this range then the design should be like this if they ask like the design like this then don't use inverter here all one 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 then output this here it is one here it is zero here it is zero then this is a active low signal see CS bar, active low signal, 0 and 0 becomes 1. So, chip will get activated. So, this is the design of uh, this one, 64K. Now, we can connect a 64K, uh, this one, a chip, uh, 64K. So in the last uh, session we have seen uh, uh, 64K. So by using decoder, we can connect such uh, eight uh, chip and we can club the, we can get a high range of memory. Suppose if you connect a decoder, uh, you know decoder will select any one of the line at a time based on the value of ABC. You have studied this in AD. If A, B, C is 0, 0, 0, Y, 0 is selected. Here you can connect uh, one chip. So here you can connect uh, one chip of 64K. Here you can connect one chip of 64K. Here you can connect one chip of 64K. Here you can connect one chip of 64K. Like this, how many chip you can connect 64K? 8. 
so now this is 64 k b 64 see I, when i write 64 k b i will write a big b 64 kilobyte like this 8 means uh, it is something like uh, 512 k b memory you can design by connecting a decoder 8 chips are connected at a time one chip will work uh, like this uh, 8 chips are connected uh, based on the control lines these are called as control lines so very important how you can design uh, So, in the year, see the diagram above the diagram and find the address range for Y4, Y2 and Y7. What is the address range for Y4 he is asking? What is the address range for Y7? What is the address range for uh, y, uh, Y2? For address range for Y4, first we will see address range for Y4. So, to get selected Y4, this is uh, let me start here. See A0 to A19. Uh, in that uh, A14, 15, 16. We will see A14, 15, 16. Let me switch on the fan. 14, 15, 16. Uh, where is that 14, 15, 16 here? 14, 15, 16. 14 is 0. 15 is 0. 16 is 1. So, if you start 0, 0, 0. This is 14. This is 15 this is 16 0 0 0 y 0 will get selected this is 0 0 1 y 1 will get selected this is 0 1 0 y 2 will get selected 0 1 1 y 3 will get selected 1 0 0 y 4 will get selected so y 4 what is the address range this one understood then here a7 uh, this is active low active low means uh, you if you make here it is 1 uh, then this becomes a 0 and it is activated here you make it 1 uh, this becomes 0 and it is activated and this is you make it 1 uh, because uh, to activate this one this is not active low this you have to make it 1 so last three bits are 1 and these bits are variable from 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 1. So, what is the address range you will get? Uh, address range you will get. Uh, you calculate here uh, address range. Uh, so, you calculate uh, 1 block, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, second block, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, third block, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, fourth block, uh, 16, 17, 19. This is F. This is F. And this is uh, 0. Initially, all these are 0, 0, 0. And finally, here you can see the range is F and the, here, here it is, uh, range is uh, 3, this is 3, you will get uh, 3 and this is 0, 0, 0, that is the range, you, sorry, sorry, I am sorry, this is F, 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 so that is the range you will get here, you see the range what you got. Similarly, he has asked about Y2, he has asked about a y2 if the y2 to activate y2 what is the value of here 0 1 0 so let me go back bit so 14 15 16 0 1 0 0 1 0 14 15 16 0 1 0 so this i will uh, so let me go back uh, still Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, zero, one, zero. So now this becomes zero. This becomes one. This becomes a zero. Now you find out the range. So now here it is zero. So now here it is 8, 4, 8, 4, 12. 12 means uh, 10 means A, 11 means B, 12 means C, C and uh, 8, 4, 2. This becomes a total I think uh, E. This is E and here it is uh, 8 uh, and here it is 0, 0, 0. 
once again uh, ending range is e this is e here it is uh, becomes all ones right this is one this is anyway one and rest also becomes one that means all ones that means this becomes f e f f f f where it is uh, y2 is one similarly you calculate uh, for y7 similarly you calculate for uh, y7 so range you got it here clear so you can see the range here e8002 yeah i i did small mistake here e b it is when you calculate you will get b f f f similarly for y7 you will get this range y7 you will get this range now how to connect uh, uh, this one how to connect eight chips when you connect eight chips what is the range you will get when you connect eight chips what is the range you will get that you have to see so sixty four k into eight sixty four k into eight so here zero to twelve and uh, 13 lines are here 14 15 16 lines are here then rest of the lines are these are so you have to design to connect eight chips to this one so you have to calculate the address so for my students uh, i have already told this one how to calculate the address uh, let us calculate it here for one or two now So we will take first uh, a zero two. So let us write here a zero, a zero. I will write something like this only: one, two, three, four, four, five. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Now we have uh, this one. 13 14 15 this one this is a decoder 13 14 15 is a decoder this is decoder this will vary first combination is 0 0 0 this is the first combination okay and from year to year it can vary from uh, lowest value to the highest value year to year this is the first combination of the decoder and 16 uh, 16 you can see 16 should be 1 and uh, 17 18 19 uh, we will make it one 17 18 19 uh, according to the design it shows one that means this is f and uh, rest here you make a block of fours so here combination is uh, when it is zero this one decoder is zero this is zero this becomes zero 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 what is the highest combination? Highest combination is uh, decoder remains 0, 0, 0 for first combination of the decoder. And this becomes 1. And this is uh, all 1s means F. 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 So you will get range here. You can see first one is uh, F 0, 0, 0, 0 to F 1 f f f this is the range now you have to take the decoder combination uh, 0 0 1 initially decoder is 0 0 0 right now you have to take the decoder combination 0 0 1 so
so what i have to do i have to make this this one i have to make this one this also becomes a one let me make this is one so now this becomes one and this becomes one then uh, what is the combination lowest combination lowest combination you calculate uh, 0 0 1 0 1 0 means 2 the lowest combination comes from uh, f 2 0 0 and it continues till uh, 3 f 3 f f this is the second uh, goes to second chip like that third goes to third chip fourth goes to fourth chip fifth sixth seventh eighth very 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 important from the exam point of view we have to show the two calculation don't just mug up the address at least show one calculation or two calculation as i said here if you don't understand uh, i am ready to explain it once again please ping me So next one is uh, data integrity RAM and uh, ROM.